If you thought the days of rampant anti-Semitism, open air Jew hatred on the campus of Harvard were over, think again. Students recently returned to campus for a new semester only to find Israeli hostage posters defaced with anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic graffiti. And to make matters worse, the school appointed Derek Penslar as co-chair of their anti-Semitism task force. He was a, a professor who, according to former Harvard president Larry Summers, has minimized anti-Semitism at Harvard and referred to Israel as an apartheid state. Let's bring in a student at Harvard Divinity School, Shabbos Kastenbaum. Shabbos, great to see you. I've spoken to you before, and I'll just repeat something that Larry Summers wrote. I have lost confidence in the determination and ability of the Harvard Corporation, that's the board, and Harvard leadership to maintain Harvard as a place where Jews and Israelis can flourish. Shabbos, tell us what you've seen. Tell us how you feel on campus. Sure. I have seldom experienced such disregard of and contempt for a minority group than the way in which Harvard treats its Jewish student body. It is absolutely absurd. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on TV. I am pissed off. I cannot articulate how utterly abandoned and frustrated and offended I feel that a university that is meant to be one of the most prestigious institutions in the United States has allowed Jew hatred to fester on its campus, has done absolutely nothing to protect Jewish students, has done more to sloganeer, to virtue sig signal, and to equivocate what's happening to Jewish students in real time on their campus in the hope of not caving into uh, Jewish students and in the hope of not offending the, the woke mob. Harvard Harvard does not just have a problem with anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is a feature of Harvard, and it is symptomatic, symptomatic of a much larger problem, which is that our society is faced with rampant Jew hatred. And whether it's Harvard, whether it's someone in the subway or someone on the street, it must end, and we must hold those accountable. You know, Shabbos, we're putting up pictures right now of, of some of that defacing material that you're referencing. And I'm curious, uh, since Claudine Gay has been removed from the presidency of Harvard, have things gotten better? Is this just a remnant of the time before she left uh, the head of Harvard? Or is this new material that's coming up? Is this still happening on campus? It still exists? No changes have been made? Let, let me be clear to the viewers, to you, and to everyone who needs to understand the situation and just how dire it is. Since Claudine Gay has left, things have escalated. Wow. They have been significantly worse. Here, here are the facts on the ground, and you can read the lawsuit that we filed that is public. Number one, Harvard students have blamed the Jews for controlling the media, for pushing out Claudine Gay. They have said that they identify proudly with Hamas, with Hezbollah, with the Houthis. They have said repeatedly that Jews are both baby killers and that they are best friends with Jeffrey Epstein. And actually, if you see on your screen, that's uh, referenced in, in one of the posters. The fact that Harvard, their response has been forget about inadequate. They have done almost nothing. Let's remember for just one moment, they had an anti-Semitism advisory group. It was so remarkably useless that its most respected member and my personal professor, who I admire and respect, David Walpi, had to step down, citing just how ineffective it was. And now their solution is we're going to create another task force. I don't want task forces. I don't want half-assed statements. I want action, and I want it yesterday. This is insanity. This is a, it's a biblical evil, Shabbos. And as a, a divinity student, you very well understand what that is. And it's the responsibility of everyone to stand up and speak up for Jewish students and Jewish individuals in this country and worldwide. This is wrong. This must stop. And it starts with Harvard. Shabbos Kastenbaum, please come back and uh, keep Thank us updated so and keep speaking out because they want to sweep it under the rug and make it go away is what they want to do.